There it goes. Hello everyone for uh, the final video for this build. It should be one of the final videos to see if this build can handle the final thing I want to try. So this build did Ubers extremely easy. So now I want to see if I can do the, the hardest thing. The 95 through 100 uh, shard run, run. I don't think this build's going to be able to do this, but I'm curious to see this be funny to see if it can. This is probably the, the last thing in content the game this build has not cleared yet is the Shadow Realm. And I do want to see how it does. I'm no, I'm pretty sure I can do the normal 70, 80 run easily. But I'm just curious to see if we can do the hardest run. So we're gonna, eh, too lazy to do that. So we're gonna try to do this, see if it's possible. Here, here, 95, let's go. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a complete fail video, but it'd be fine to just be, this for your career comedy is all this is gonna be. Cause one, two, three, four, five, six. All six, let's go. Let's see what happens. Oh, it cleared out pretty well. Oh, he's at level 92. Okay, this might be a little easier. So I think this build won't, we'll finally test it on the bosses. Cause this is gonna clear this out real quick. Let's see, get this one done. Okay, yeah, I'm not worried about, I think, getting to 100. I think I'm more just worried about this boss can, if this build can handle the, the bosses that spawn on the fifth wave, on the fourth wave. I think that's where it's gonna be the hardest. Because my blizzard alone is just clearing this out pretty easy. Yeah, because that was pretty quick, actually. So I think the next... Because I think the boss is where this build will struggle with, because that's where it's always struggled in the past. It's always been the boss part, because that's usually where they deal the most damage. Because the minions up to this point, that point won't hurt. Especially because be, this build handled Uber is no problem, so we'll see. And as I do that, then we'll die. But yeah, if Blizzard can clear out an area on its own without me having to use Hydras, it's definitely not worried about this at all. We'll just see what it looks like when we get to 100. This is the I one. Yep, okay. This one's simple enough just to run. Usually always in this corner. Let's smite the eye. Cause yeah, compared to Uber Bail, this is nothing compared to him. Emesis. Oh, this is where it's gonna test it actually. Oh yeah, these hit hard. So I was wondering actually. Still easy though. The first boss is already dead. Second's dead. Okay, yeah, this definitely is. Did not expect it to hit this hard. Let's go to 96. So we finished that in four minutes. So if we're on check 20 minutes, we should have finished all this. We'll see. If the video gets too long, we'll try to speed up the process a little bit. So I'm averaging probably around 20 minute mark. This video will end up being. Because yeah, I did not expect it will do damage like this at all. I did this, my made this as a joke. Because I was expecting, you know, the Ubers were easy, but 90 100 seems like it should be hard. Because when we first tried this before we got this built to this point, I could barely run 70s easily. Cause the bosses were just were killing me nonstop. Yeah, this is already way past my uh, expectations for this build. We might actually farm this for drops even too. I'm just curious to see what the drop loot looks like. 
when we get to the final chests at the end after we do the five waves. Because we'll stop when we beat 100. See, Hydro does good damage, but there's no point using it for this. I think it's faster just to teleport Blizzard. Yeah, the only thing to hope for is we just don't crash. Because I think Blizzard is going to crash my computer. Which will make a great video. I figured the drops might be the same, but I'm curious to see if um, if you get more uh, Mystics at the end. Yeah, that's true. I'm pretty sure the drops won't be the same. I just won't care to see if the build can fully do the 100 boss. It's more of a thing I want to test the one final thing. But I'm pretty sure at this rate, this should be no problem. Because I'll probably end up still doing my, most of my farming on the Ubers. That's the most fun I'm having. Just watching Bale, Mephesto, and Diablo's health just plummet. This is something I can never do in Diablo 2, so it's fun to do in here. No, nope, we're all done with this one. So around 90, after this one we should be at 97, I think. Yep, that's the boss. Yeah, this is damage output is absolutely stupid. Cause I think, yeah, yesterday I was not, would not be able to do this at all. Today's have been absolutely pure amazing with the, guys, with the drops. Grim tools. I'll take a look at this after the run. So I'm gonna keep it for the video's sake. Only because I don't know also with how this scales with the mod versus without the old way, if it scales the same or not. Cause I, don't, cause I, know, they, I don't know if they change certain things or not. That's why it's tricky to tell. Seven and a half in eight minutes. See, we're still averaging the four minute mark per thing. This one's my favorite one. Yeah, and we'll explain the, the. I'll do a thing about this. I'll make a video guide for this build, like the final changes I made and why this is going to do this. So everyone can uh, copy this build if they want. And if anyone needs any gear, I. I have some extra gear, not a whole lot since I've been helping people out with their builds already with this. If they're interested in any pieces, let me know. I can see if I have any extras to give to you to help you out. But right now, most of my stuff's already, some stuff's already pre-taken. Some of my runes are already pre-taken. Um, do have a lot of extra torches though and trinkets. Or even if you're not playing this but playing other builds, if you need torches, let me know. I have too, I have too many torches now. I think I have a couple Amazon Assassin. I think it's only two I have. It's just me trying to find um because the only piece of gear left of the change for this is I just trying to find one trinket from uh, Brutus. That's the only thing I'm farming right now. While doing my Uber runs. in under nine minutes I'll take that it's going a little faster now 
This is 98. Cool. Let's see if we do this under 15 minutes. Under 15 minutes would be the perfect mark, so we actually don't have to speed up the video at all. But my luck is, we're probably at the end, we're probably gonna do all garbage. With drops. Especially because I think I already have used my luck up today. With finding two mythical Talrashas, with finding an extra necklace. Because I think the only necklace upgrade would be the, um, the Mara. Which is just a, with another plus two uh, necklace with, I think, resistance on it. Not really needed at this point, but it's that would be the next upgrade. Okay, because that and the trinket, and that should be the last two upgrades for this character to make this character fully done. Yeah, because most of my um, my farming is just coming from Ubers right now because I'm having the most fun with Ubers. So I'll probably do that for a while. Might maybe make the new character, but. Well, I, well, I might save the most of the new character for the, um, during, like, the Path of Exile break. Or we might just play something that's not even meta, or even on just, like, a whole, just make it on the spot character. Maybe even for fun. Once we get more, like, uh, mythical set pieces to make other characters. Yeah, and this one, yeah, 55 is original, Grim Dawn, 52, whatever it is, I don't know. But they had 81 in this game, this is fun. Is why the always um uh, is why this is so broken. Yeah, cause uh devotion point it's one per quest, so you get 81 total, because there's 81 quests in the game. Because after we do this, we would officially cleared all contact, and our content in this mod would be fully done. There's only uh, content I've not cleared yet is the 95 through 100, which will be on 99 after this. So I have two left to run. And hopefully, someone hits me hard. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting hit pretty good. Who's hitting me hard, I wonder? Uh, I don't know. Someone hit me hard there. Let's go on the next one. So this is 99, so we'll clear this one. The next one, and that's all 100. Oh! Um... Okay then. Something just hit me really hard. Now Chris, go see what that was. That was pretty funny. Who hit me? I wonder. Let's go find him. I'll kill him again. Ninety-three zone. Oh, it was this thing. Okay, I see what it is. Yeah, he hits hard. Oh, it was a 97. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, he hits. We killed each other, though. I'll take on that challenge. I'm still going to make sure I beat this under the time zone. This, no this number goes down, then I'll we failed this challenge. Give me this. But yeah, if that if the timer goes on to zero, then we definitely didn't do this under the correctly. Then we know that they'll fail. But at least now they're hitting hard though, which I do like. Cause I knew eventually they'd hit pretty hard. I just didn't know when it was gonna happen. I'm surprised that we actually don't not seeing goblins. Cause I thought we would finally see a goblin or two through this. Since it looks like goblins are still away. Yeah, blood pools probably killed me. Yeah, bleeding destroys me. I think it's just because I can't see this the the floor with all the 
stuff going on. I just don't know what's going on right now. Because with don't probably play this build, you just can't see anything. You just run around hoping everything's dead. So yeah, I think the bleeding Ubers only want to will avoid at all costs. Because he's the only world Uber I have problems with. Because him and the acid combination is just crazy. Oh, that's it? Okay. Nine more minutes left. So we're still under nine minute mark, which is good. But we're over 15 minute mark on total video time. Yeah, so those like always rise me a 20 minute video. I was hoping to keep it down less, but we'll take it. If we can do this under 20 minutes, it's not bad. But still not as fast as doing Ubers, though. I think the Uber run was almost 10, or a little over 10 minutes, I think. Do all, everything from start to finish. And this was almost 20 minutes. So well, hopefully the picture, well, it depends on the other drops though. to get to here. Let's see what we can do against these. Oh, we're real lucky actually our water drops could be the gore boot the gore boots, which are very rare. I'll be dead again. 99 and 100. Quick curl this, clear this one and we finish all 100 of them. Chunk one, we start as 18 minute mark. Sharp 100 done. So we're on. No. No. Please. Okay. That scared the shit out of me. I thought we just got disconnected. I was like, well, that would have ruined that video. Because I know when we came back, we would have lost everything. But I am worried about this lag. Would have made a great video though. A disconnect. Would have been annoying if I were to redo the the end of the video, but would have been pretty funny. I'm curious if that actually showed on the camera though, the where it lagged. Or the video card I mean. So I'll watch that after to see. Oh, that's a mana burner. I'm not gonna fight this. No, I guess we are fighting this. Cool. 
next. So I'm curious, did uh, Armin, did you see the lag at all happen? Where the game is paused, but everything else kept moving? Or is it only from me? Done. Nope. And we died again. I think we're still under the time zone. Nine minutes. Okay, good. Still there. And I'm one guy left. And bye bye. We did it. 100 done. You can actually keep going. Yeah. But no, we'll stop there. We got what I wanted. Okay, yeah, so you did see it. Okay. So let's see what we got. 20 minutes to do 99 through 100. Now let's see what we get from this. Whee! Ooh, a 29 room. Let's see, was it worth it or we waste our time? Not one of those yellow to show. Why is yellow showing actually? Oh, it's monster items. Oh, um, well then. Okay, let me dump all this out because we actually found some good stuff. This might have just been worth it. So I should have turned this off before I did this. I just didn't realize these are all considered monster items. Okay, that's it actually. Okay. Now let's pick out the real items we got. Hopefully we found a mythic some mythic stuff. Cause then all this should be Yep, garbage. Okay, and was it worth it? Let's find out. Why are you glowing? Garbage, don't matter. Okay, let's see what, what was worth it. So we got... Stuff that doesn't matter. We got a lot of components. We got 29 rune. So that's actually really good. 21, 12 is garbage. We got a rainbow. We got the black. We got a... The magic one. Blue. So we got three facets, which is actually not bad. The, mag the purple one's the best one for my character, but we didn't get it. Mythic Mark. Yeah. Stupid. I hate this stuff. The realm stuff, I'm not a big fan of. 94 Stellium, which doesn't matter. I'll just. Yeah, I'm going. All this stuff, I don't care. These aren't worth picking up. So we got a non, non mythic. This, uh, so we got bun. That's not good. This is not good. Plus one, two. Nope. This is actually the best thing we got. This is a rare belt, which is really good. Cause this will plus one all skills is amazing. So our winners. That's garbage and garbage. So I was like, the winners was just this one, the 29, and then the three of these. I don't think only three of those dropped. Yeah. So this was actually the only good stuff we got out of the whole entire 95 through 100 run. And then a lot of money too, if you saw all this. So pretty much, was it worth it? And for, for the 20, the 22 minutes that we spent to do this? Maybe. If if you need these, then you pop. Then you, if you can clear as fast as this was, then this might be worth it. Just to, to get these up and get the ones you need real fast. Then don't do this again. Twenty nine room was real nice, and this belt was extremely nice to see. But was it worth it overall? Probably not. To be honest, I would say you're probably better off just running Ubers. It's a lot faster. 
but well, finding the Uber with the keys is a little faster, but getting the actual everything else takes a little bit longer. But I think it was a little bit better overall. That's also, I think overall it was better to run Ubers, but it's more fun. But this is also extremely profitable if you need money. And if you need these also, this is definitely profitable. But I thought this would be a little bit harder than what it was. It was pretty fun. But I will say if it's questionable if this is worth doing for people. It just depends really if you need those uh, rainbows or not. If you don't need the rainbows, avoid it. If you do need the rainbows, I would say go for it. You can even do these at low level. I'm pretty sure the 80s, 70s, 80s. It's just I think you have more. You get more of these for doing the higher ones. And if we kept going through the hundreds, you'd probably get more, but it wasn't worth it going. I'm just didn't have time. I don't care about doing the higher ones for now. But I think the 29 room was probably the best. Drop. Since these are really rare in the belt. These are probably the main two winners here, I would say. Is these two right here. If this belt didn't drop, then it would just be this. Then it definitely would have been maybe, but this belt's extremely rare, so I'll take it. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button down below, and hope to see you on the next video. Thank you.